In this video, I am going to show you how to create a custom nav bar and edit it so that you get only the links you need for your course. To begin, what you're going to do in your course shell is come and hover over your nav bar. And if you hover over at the side here, you'll get a three dot menu. If you click on that, then you can go to customize this nav bar. Now, when you first do this, it says the snap bar is shared. Do you want to create a copy of it and set it to active? Click on yes. So this is going to create a copy of the default nav bar, and then you're going to be able to create your customizations within here. Once you've clicked yes, it's going to take you into the nav bar editing menu. And from here, what I would suggest you do is start by creating a custom name for your nav bar. So I'm just going to call this demo nav bar. But my suggestion is you call it whatever your course name is to make it easy for you to find. You could also add a description here if you wanted to. So if you wanted to add a little bit of information for yourself so that it is easier to find, you can do that there. Below here, this is where all of your links are, and this is where you're going to start cleaning things up and adding the things that you need in here. Now, I'm going to give you my recommendations, but this is totally up to you how you want to set up your course. For most of these, I actually get rid of most. So the resources I get rid of, I get rid of the communication, I get rid of the assessments, the email my teacher, the G, G Suite, Quick Access, and even the teacher support. Okay, so I've just got content and edit course here. Now I want to go in and add a couple of links that I like to have in my course. The first one is the course homepage. So let me just find that here. Here we go, the course home. So I'm going to add that one. And then Depending on what you do, if you keep your grades in here, another one that I really like is the grades tool. So I'm just going to go find that one as well, because I do use that one frequently to add in the grades for all of the different sort of pieces, assessment pieces that I'm doing within my course. So really, you can just kind of scroll through here and find the ones you like, click on add, and they will add them into your nav bar for you. Now, I don't like this order, so if I want to reorder them, I just click on them, grab them, and drag and drop them into the place that I want them to be. So typically, I'll do my course home, I'll do my content, my grades, and then edit course. And I like to keep the edit course there, not for my students, but for me to be able to access all the other tools really, really easily. Now, Another preference you could do is whether you want to enable the icon based nav bar or not. So totally up to you. You can have it as just links like this, or you can have it with the icons. Sometimes the visual is nice, especially for your English language learners who are still trying to associate the words. So it might be a good idea to keep that on. Just looking at some of the other options in here, the theme, you can come in here and change the theme. We'll talk about theme in another video though, so I'm not going to go into that right here, but just know that if you want to do that in here, you can do that here. And then under more options, you can also change the title in the nav bar. So I believe that's this title here. Let's just double check. So let's maybe go put a custom one in here. And I'm just going to call this demo course. And we'll see if that is the right thing. So I'm going to save and close once I'm done this. And that's going to apply all of my changes. So yes, it does change the title up here. So that's where you can do it. So now my nav bar is really clean. I've just got my course home. I've got my content section. I've got my grades. And then if I need to access any of the other tools within Brightspace, I can just go to the edit course and I have all the tools here. So it's really easy for me to kind of click and navigate around and it simplifies things down for my students and will help simplify things down for your students as well. 
Now, if you ever want to come in and edit your nav bar, you can do it a couple of ways. You can start by hovering over your nav bar, click on the three dots and go to edit this nav bar, or you can come into your edit menu, edit course menu, and go to navigation and themes. And so in here, you're going to see all the different nav bars that are available for your organization, as well as the one you created. Now, the nice thing about the one you created is it's going to probably turn up in blue here. So it's really easy to see if uh, for some reason you want to create a new nav bar. You can do that in here as well by creating click on nav bar just going to take you back into that same menu. And then you, if you end up wanting to switch between nav bars, you do need to come up to this active nav bar menu and click on the one you want and click on apply. So those are just a couple of different ways you can get back in here and edit your nav bars once you've created them. So give it a try, see what sort of fits in terms of your needs and take it from there and go and create your own custom nav